question of why is this even on the agenda today? Why has AWIN decided to sponsor a work-life discussion? Well, it's obvious we're under personal stress. I mean, on the survey, I'll share one out of every four said they were under major to overwhelming stress. But you know, it's more than that now, and that's why AWIN has it on the agenda. It's a business issue. It's a business concern. And here's why. Well, first of all, you always think about work life as a woman's issue. And indeed, you know, we have had that traditional struggle of career and family. Career and our life. And businesses are concerned because today, 60% of the graduates from college are women. And that's a worldwide figure in developed countries, 60%. So getting work-life right is important to the business because there's a huge talent pool that's particularly affected by work-life. But it's more than a women's issue. I think I mentioned 400 men responded to this survey, 400 men across Ashland. Because women and men today are actually seeing a whole different work-life view. Because in the last five years, the generations that are part of our workforce have changed. And I thought we'd test this theory out. So here in Dublin or wherever you're at, raise your hand if you were born before 1965. So how many do we have? OK. I'm going to say it's about a third, perhaps. Let me ask the next question. How many were born after 1965, part of the Gen X generation? Or after 1981, part of I'm looking around this room. Keep your hands up, Gen X and millennials. It is more than 50%. And that's the change over the last five years. We've gone from a workforce that was kind of boomer-oriented to one that's Gen X and millennial. And how has that changed work-life views? Well, I, I have to admit I'm a boomer. And the characteristics of those generation, of that generation, was that we saw fulfillment in our career, that we lived to work. And here I am, Joy introduced me. I retired to do what? <laughs> Start another business. But Gen Xers and Millennials see this differently. Gen Xers in particular have come up through a time of chaos, recessions, downsizing after downsizing. And so don't get me wrong, work is very important to a Gen Xer. In fact, they know it's all about the results. It's all about performance, streamlining. And they know that life is more than work because they've gone through tough times and they know they need to have the friends and the family to fall back on. And Millennials? They don't even understand when you say there's work and there's life and that's supposed to be separate. Their life is 24-7. They came up through the internet generation. I mean, and we're global. We call people in the different time zones in the evening, in the morning. If we need to do something in our personal life, well, we need to get that done when it needs to be done. And what about being in an office? Do you need to be in an office to do work? So these are the different work life views today. And for businesses, to engage this talent that we have, they need to find ways to support us in our work life. And so today it's on the agenda so that we can hear a little bit more about work life and test this out and see how do we become effective at work life. 